Hey there, this is Wendy with loveandstampin.com, spelled with a U. Welcome to my 2020 craft room tour. I have been very anxiously awaiting revealing this video to you. Before we get into footage, I just wanted to do some still photos, kind of showing you a few of the areas. I am linking to everything I can think of below this video. So the cart that you just saw there, these boxes that you're seeing here, um, everything that I got, the center island, that thing right there that's in front of you, the Vera desk, um, all the pieces from Ikea, every single thing I can possibly think of, I'm linking to below this video and over on my blog. So I'm hoping it will be a good resource for you to come back to as you want to maybe purchase things. So the one thing I want to say and give a disclaimer about this video before we get into the full tour is this took us about four months to complete and I have been doing crafting as a career for eight years. So this is not something I probably would do if I was just a hobby person or just doing it for fun. I actually do make money doing this. It's my job. So if somebody's watching this video who has no idea who I am, my name is Wendy Cranford. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have been for 10 years. So it, when I'm recording this, I should say. So we are going to hop into the tour and I'm going to show you around, explain where everything's at, and I want you to keep in mind that um, this is all probably, not all of it, there's pieces of it that are subject to change. So just kind of keep that in mind as you watch the video. Um, there are pieces that I don't have yet because during the filming of this video and building of this or finishing off of this studio, um, we are in the middle of a global pandemic. So I was not able to get pieces from Ikea that I needed and wanted. And so I will have to get those at a later time. And when I do, I will do an updated craft room tour. I also haven't hung anything up on the walls yet because I really wanted to wait to do that until I had all my furniture pieces. So all of that decorations and things like that will come in the future. So what you're going to see is my office space slash studio space where I create and where I do all my business stuff. So let's hop into it. Okay, so when you walk through the door of my studio, this is what it looks like as of right now. Of course, this is subject to change, <laughs> as is all craft rooms. So we're going to start on the right side and work our way around. Right here, we've got bags because every good crafter needs bags, right? We've also got um, an Ikea um, Alex drawer. This is the wide one. And my printer and then this is going to get hung up on the wall. So I'm going to show you what's under my printer really quick. We've got a copy paper station, labels. So these are for like putting on my catalogs and all that kind of stuff. Kind of just random business supplies. As you can see, I've got nice space still, which is exciting. More random business supplies and more random business <laughs> supplies. And then down here we have um, my labels for my postage and some toner for my ink or for my printer. And then these are just kind of like manila folders and random other little things. Of course, I've got my Young Living diffuser. Hit me up if you want to get any Young Living products. You can actually purchase them with me or you can get them from my cousin Christy. She's an amazing distributor. So this is my desk. I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. I purchased my desk on overstock.com and I really love it. It was not cheap. I will link to it below the video, um, but it is literally like, I love it so much. So I'm just gonna quickly show you. It has this awesome keyboard drawer. This flips down. 
and this is perfect for me it's the perfect height for me so that's wonderful and then here is just like you know random little things i always keep handy again shout out to young living i keep their little cleaners handy and in here a little bit of cash for postage and um, some envelopes tape down here are my files on this side we have kind of like just random stuff that i keep on hand my catalogs are here lotion um fingernail clippers you know the things a woman needs come on people here is my remotes this works my air conditioner and heating unit and this works my fan this is my charger for my video or for my camera and these are where i keep my receipts and down here is empty with a cool notebook from a friend of mine okay so moving on to this shelving unit this is a billy bookcase from ikea and I really love it because it's nice and narrow. It's not, doesn't stick way out into the room. Honestly, there's no method to any of the organization here. Um, this has free giveaway stuff in it. This is a picture of me and two of my best friends and just some kind of like fun notebooks. And yeah, there's really nothing here that's, this is my budgeting stuff. So this will be my budget station for my business budgeting stuff that has planner stuff in it here we have an ikea cart yes those are copic markers i have quite a collection do i ever use them no i don't it's sad okay and then here is just kind of like random so this right now has just kind of become the catch-all um my goal and thought for this is this is where i will take my photos but also down here and kind of over in this area will probably be where I organize a lot of my club stuff. This is all stuff getting ready to go out for my club. Um, I've got extra cardstock here. That's going to go away. These are going to go away. So there's stuff here that's not going to stay here forever. This is kind of my media station is what I've decided this to be. So it has other stuff it needs to have put in here out of my storage. But this is a tripod. Um, there's just a lot of like multimedia. That's not the right word. It's just media stuff. So I've got um, a light hanging off the back of it. This is a great idea for a diva light if you have one. It actually has like a hook right here. And I just set it over the top of that and it's holding it. Um, I really love that light. However, it reflects in my glasses and looks awful. So there's that. Okay. Now, this is where things get kind of weird. Okay, first of all, when I'm filming this, these ribbon holders and punch holders will not stay here. Um, Ikea is closed right now because of the COVID-19 situation. That's when I'm filming this video. So because of that, I cannot get... The Ikea shelving I need in order to put these in. So as soon as that happens, Ikea opens, I get it. These will be gone. They won't be here anymore. This will remain up here on this counter. These are all of my finished cards that are just organized. Um, this is from InterDesign. I'll link to it below. And then I have these little cubies just to hold random stuff, which honestly, I think this is going to change too once I get the Ikea thing. Hi, Papa. Miss you times. All the time. Um, okay, and then I've got my stamp sets up here. These three really pretty decorations up on the top are from Etsy, and I'll link to the designer. And then these stamp sets are the annual catalog stamp sets. These are holiday stamp sets that are in the annual catalog. These are letter and backgrounds. And these are like anything that's like a mini catalog will go down here. Up here, I have non Stampin' Up stamp sets. <gasps> I know. What? And then these are old retired ones that I love that I can never part with. Okay. I also have a Vagabond, which is an electronic die cutting machine. I will link to it below. Stampin' Up currently, when I'm recording this video, does not sell a die cut machine. So I use this one. Um, 
and these are all of my embossing folders so they're right here next to the vagabond and then these are all of my dies and they are organized by kind of theme and catalog so this is annual so if it's in the annual catalog it's back here and then if it's shapes it's up here doesn't matter what catalog it's in random stuff here okay here we have my paper storage so this is going to be full of black vanilla and whisper white thick card stocks as you can see i've already got quite a collection of those and then i've got all of my eight and a half by 11 colors a lot of 12 by 12 and then this is all my designer series paper i get asked all the time how i store my designer series paper i just store it in these 12 by 12 cropper hoppers and um, that's what they used to be called you can't get them like this anymore that i can find um but i will link to what i can find on amazon i also put these inside of the 12 by 12 one for my scraps so that I can just easily pull the small insert out and access my scraps. In addition to that, I should say, all of my scraps are contained in these little folders with the item number and name on it and stored on top of their color. So I will link below to where you can get those labels for free from me. They're a free download. Um, and then here I have my big cutter. This is from Stampin' Up. This is really old. <laughs> that is actually supposed to come off. But this is really old, so it's stored down here. These are all of my photo um, items that I need for taking photos. These are full of random stuff, as you can see. 12 by 12, or I mean... Uh, whatever grid paper this one just kind of has random stuff in it also trimmers and punch boards i want to mention really quickly these units were custom made so please 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 people ask me all the time where did you get your stamp storage it was custom made by a carpenter i literally there's nowhere you can buy them. You have to have somebody custom make them for you, as are these pieces that are on top of the drawer units. These are also custom made. Um, these over here are my excess Big Shot Station stuff. This is like packaging that's not made by Stampin' Up. So like cello bags and stuff. These are random alterable items. These are photo props. When I take photos, sometimes I like to have little stuff in the background. This is stuff for my silhouette if I need to make labels or something like that. And then we've got other random stuff. I have a few. I have this stamp set because it won't fit anywhere else. And it's The Walking Dead. That's what this is. And I had to have it. That's all there is to it, people. So more just kind of like random. This is like Prismacolor pencils, lettering stuff, um, things like that. More pens. This is my hoarded die cut situation. It is horrifying. It needs to be organized. And then all of these are empty. Empty, 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 empty all the way down till this one and then I've got color crayons then this is really I tried to make it so that everything near where I would do my stamping would be the closest to me so I have googly eyes champagne mists my spritzer what are these replacement blades basic tools I've got a crimper. Anyone still have one of those? They're so old. Um, these are my fabric scissors, so they're inside this little pouch, so I don't use them for anything else. And pro tip, they have a little bit ribbon tied on them, so I know not to use them on paper. Um, and then I've just got random like scissors and stuff like that. Embossing. This is all of my embossing stuff and my watercolor pencils and trays. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to be 
and oh and then um, embossing pastes so i've got those as well these are anything that require heat so hot glue gun heat tool silicone mats um i think i have a fuse tool in here yeah and then a drawer full of adhesives a drawer full of candy now i will tell you why i have a drawer full of candy <laughs> As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and somebody who loves to make 3D projects, I basically always need some candy on hand to fill little boxes or bags with. So I've got a bag of just regular old everyday candy here, and then I've got this bag back here that's kind of Christmas, and then I've got jelly beans that are specific colors. Je these are gumballs. This kind of candy, if you want to find candy that's specific colors, you can find it on Amazon. So um, I'll link to a couple of them below the video so that you can grab them. This is Stampin' Up! packaging. Um, so there's the cute boxes, different things like that. This is my envelope collection. So you can see I use mostly white. This is my sequin collection. I will try to link to this um, below the video, but this is actually for beads and I just use it for sequins. Nobody needs this many sequins. It's a travesty. Um, and then I've got blending sponges. Again, I will link to the, these below the video. These are Stampin' Up's blending sponges. So here's a tip. If you're on a budget, this is what I recommend. You get this pack. It's really inexpensive and you cut it four ways and then you have four blending sponges i used them for years they're perfectly fine the reason i switched to using these is because my hands hurt um when i was using these and so i use these now instead however i'm hopeful that maybe someday stampin up is going to release some sort of cool blending tool and i won't have to use these anymore because they do take up a lot of space and I would love a different option too. Um, and you, it really takes a lot of finesse to learn how to use these. FYI, if you have a nice saturated sponge, those are the best to use. When your sponge is brand new on these, they work horribly. And they leave lots of lines and... Yeah, they're just hard. So once you break them in and they're nice and saturated like this, they're brilliant. But until then, it, they're kind of a mess. So there's a learning curve with these. Okay, so let's move on to the stamping station. So I have my chair here. I've got my Stampin' Blends here. My husband installed a light here. I'm gonna take you up. So I've got these lights and then the other lights down at the end of the room work on a separate switch so these work on this switch which is really nice and then this is my island so this is an island that i got from um, wayfair.com and it is actually a kitchen island and here is what i loved about this if you go to this side this piece is actually a leaf so you can fold these legs in and fold this down and then it's uh more narrow so if i needed more space in here to move i can fold this down and i can get more space here if i need more space for crafting or setting stuff then i can lift this up and it's ready for me to use now this is where the ikea calyx unit is missing um eventually it will be here and all of these will be inside of it along with all of these so all of these supplies will be at my hands reach my arms reach arm length <laughs> and i'll be able to access all of that stuff so under here i've got my silhouette i've got another paper trimmer i have my clear blocks I've got just kind of like a tool bin right here that I can pull out and just set up on top if I want to. I've got just random pieces and parts down here. I've got my um, stamp apparatus tool, my stamp and scrub, my fingernail stuff because girls got to have good nails. My simply scored, my mini cutter, another stamp apparatus. I have some paper towels here. There's nothing down in the other ones. So over here. As of right now, this is how this is organized, but I don't know that it's going to stay this way. So I've got a glass jar holding my heat tool that is plugged in. And 
we'll just show you these drawers. These are embellishments. All of these are from Stamp and Storage, okay? And I will link to them below, as are the inserts for each drawer. So the reason I liked this is because I could pick up the entire tray and take it over to my workstation and I would have all my embellishments in one place. So I love these trays. They fit perf perfectly in these drawers and they're not super expensive. Uh, the drawers are the drawer units are kind of pricey, but the inserts are not. So if you didn't have these, you could still certainly purchase inserts that would separate all of your embellishments. So I've got more embellishments down here and more just kind of like random embellishments. Now, for whatever reason, this drawer is sticky. So I need to find out why, but these are extra ink pads and then empty. Okay, over here, I have all of my necessary pens like aqua painters, blender pens, um, gel pens, there's a Sharpie, pigment pens, empty, and random, one random, I don't know. So as you can see, this still needs some work. So these are blend stampin' blends that haven't even been opened yet. So just storing them in here. Um, and then these are some just random tools that I like to use when I'm card making. I always keep um, a supply of gift cards that are empty on hand. So these are void, they, they don't have anything on them. But I like keeping them around so that I can use them in projects as displays. This is my favorite. <laughs> These little ink spots are so stinking cute. These come with paper pumpkin. And then Stampin' Storage sells this little grid thing and you can put them in there. So I just love this. I love how it looks. And Stampin' Up! also sells blank ones. So if you needed to make some to take with you for travel or whatever, you could. Blank, blank, blankety blank, blank. Okay, over here, empty. <laughs> empty. As you can see, I have a lot of storage. Um, these are all of my Stampin' Write markers. I feel like there's a better storage option for this. I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, empty. These are all empty. So as you can see, lots of space left for me to organize with. I love these storage containers because you have your ink pad and then your reinker right next door. So that's awesome. Okay, moving on, we've got a garbage can. Right in this area here is probably gonna be another shelving unit from Ikea, but again, they're closed. These are all just organizational things I use for my business. So if you get prizes from me on Facebook Lives or my team, I house my prizes in these and you can see that they are labeled prize patrols, 600 club. If you sell $600 or more on my team in a month, you get a prize. So um, I store them all here separated. This is my sister's desk if she ever gets to come back to work. Like I said, I'm filming this during the COVID-19 pandemic. So as of right now, she's not working, but I'm utilizing her space when I need it. Um, so I want to kind of share with you how we got her desk because it's kind of a cool story. So you might notice the top of this is the same as the top of this. That is because when they sent us the first one, it was broken. So this piece right here was shattered on the inside and it wouldn't it wouldn't hold up so they replaced the top and when they did we took the old piece and my husband did some stuff to it and made it work for the tabletop here so now we have all black or espresso colored tabletops in the office, which I love. So these are just Alex units. I'm not even going to show you what's in all of these because it's all business stuff. And honestly, like it's not even really organized yet because she's not back to work. So that's a work in progress. And a lot of these are empty. There's not even anything in them. Um, okay. Last piece is this. This is from Lowe's. 
I already owned this. So I took it out of my shed and put it in here. And this is housing all of my envelopes for shipping, boxes for shipping, more envelopes for shipping, all my old Stampin' Up! catalogs. I'll never be able to get rid of all of them. And then there's catalogs down here. And thank you, postcards, cardboard in case we need it, and pamphlets. And that is everything, guys. That is the whole shebang, dang, 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 dang. That's it. So there's still stuff to be done. It's not exactly perfect the way I want it. Every single thing has not been finished. Um, there will be some things on the walls and stuff like that. But for the most part, this is it. This is how it's going to be. So thanks for hanging out with me. If you want any of the products that you've seen today, I'm going to link to absolutely everything I can possibly think of below the video. And I'm going to link to stuff over on my blog, which will also have a lot of photos. So visit me there at loveandstampin.com. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.